All right, what's going on, guys? This is Sona64, and I'm taking a break from playing Crossfire and talking to my friends and TeamSpeak to just address this little, this little, uh, this, this this little topic that I've been like having an argument with with uh, I don't know how many people, probably I don't know anybody that I've, that I've ever had a conversation with regarding uh, 30 FPS versus 60 FPS. Um, like how fa how many frames per second that your eye can see and how many frames per second the human eye can see. Um, honestly, here's here's a web page that kind of proves my side of the argument, and this shows 15 FPS versus 30 FPS versus 60 FPS. Now, um, the video isn't going to be able to show you much, but I'm just going to go over the page and how it proves that the eye can see more than 30 FPS. Like. A lot of people say that the human eye can't see more than 30 FPS. Like, oh, you can't see more than 30 FPS, so it doesn't really matter. Um, see, now the the thing is, the thing with this argument that it, that it just pisses me off. That because I'm tired of arguing about this, and I'm about to just set the record straight. You can see more than 30 FPS, unless unless you like. Uh, unless unless your eyes can't process that fast, like it, it really just comes down to the person. Like for example, when when you get old, when a, um when like a person gets old, they get tunnel vision, so their like eye process starts to get slower, and like you know sometimes they see things slower, and you know they they see they they their eyes just like just they, their eyes just get slower. But um, say somebody like me, twenty years old, you know, not exactly at the prime of his life, but you know somewhere near the prime. Um, you know, I'm, I'm as healthy as can be, and my eyes work perfectly. I know that 30 FPS does not look like 60 FPS, because if it did, Call of Duty would look just like Battlefield. It would. And if somebody tells me that Call of Duty looks like Battlefield, well, actually, it doesn't. It doesn't. It's... Call of Duty is 60 FPS, and Battlefield is 30 FPS. And I think about a week ago, I my cousin let me borrow MW2, and that's 60 FPS, obviously, and Battlefield's 30 FPS. I was playing Call of Duty for uh, about a, about two three hours. Uh, one of my friends invited me to a Battlefield Bad Company 2 game, so I joined his game. And for some reason, the game just felt like I'm like, wow, this game feels slow. I mean, it's not just the pace, but it felt like. It felt like the game was skipping frames, and see, my eye process was so used to the fact that I can see 60 FPS that when it went down to 30 FPS, it looked different, which means that I can see more than 30 FPS, because if I couldn't, if I switched from 60 FPS to 30 FPS, I wouldn't have got that lag. I would have just been like, oh, well... Okay, uh, I mean it would have felt different, but it did feel different. My eyes, it just it just had to get used to it, and the fact that there was a difference between 30 FPS and 60 FPS means that 30 FPS uh, is is different, which means you can you can see more. Obviously, obviously, if it's different, then then you can see both. If you can depict between one or the other, then you obviously see both. If you can tell the difference between red and blue, then you know that there's red and there's blue, which means you can see red and you can see blue. 30 is red, 60 is blue. You can see 60, you can see 30. You can see red, you can see blue. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Uh, uh, God, I, I really had to get that out, though, because I'm... I'm really pissed off. I got a I got a YouTube comment on one of my videos. He was just like, "Well, you can only see 30 FPS, so it doesn't really matter if YouTube upgraded to 60 FPS." And dude, I was just I was ready to rage right there in that comment, but I was like, "You know what? There's enough evidence like this website right here, this Bo Allen website. He shows you like um, one of these one of these pictures is 15 FPS, kind of choppy. The other one is 30 FPS. It's a little bit smoother. Now, you won't be able to tell the difference because it's it's um um what is this hypercam hypercam only records at about 10 fps so you won't see a difference between these but you go to this website and um you'll you'll be able to see the difference yourself as long as you have a um you have a good computer that can like run images like this like flash images then you'll be able to notice that there's a difference between 30 fps and 60 fps you'll be just be able to see it like if you can't see it then there's something wrong with your eyes and i'm not being a dick i'm not being a dick but that's just how it is Okay, so you look at this and, and you look at 60 and then you go back and you look at 30. Now, don't get me wrong. There is a slight, slight difference between 30 FPS and 60 FPS, but they do not, and I mean do not look the same. They don't. It's impossible. 
It just is. Because if 30 FPS look like 60 FPS, it just doesn't. I mean, it might look close. That's the idea. 60 FPS look, might look like 120 FPS because the frames are tighter together. Now, it really, like I said, it really just comes down to how much your brain can process. Now, if your brain can't process 60 FPS and it can only process 55, then 55 is probably going to look like 60 to you. It probably is. I'm just saying. So, the... 60 FPS is not the max limit that the eye can see. It can see more than 60 FPS. I've seen videos at 120 FPS, and it definitely looks different. Like, there's a really, really slight, minuscule difference, but it's there. And the fact that I can see that difference means that I can see faster than 60 FPS. Because if I didn't see a difference, if I didn't see a difference, then 60 FPS and 120 FPS will be exactly the same, and they're not. That's the reason I see a difference, and that's the reason for me making this commentary. I want to thank you guys for watching, and you can go to this website and check it out for yourself. It proves basically everything that I've been trying to tell these people who've been arguing with me, the person who commented on my video, and uh, yeah, Bulls, I'm going to give you a shout out because I argued with you like a year ago about this. So, yeah, um, anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.